Hi everyone, I'm Miss Katie from Rockland Public Library and welcome to Rockin' Storytime. Let's start off by clapping our hands. Can you clap your hands along with me at home? Here we go. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello to all our friends at story time. We clap and sing hello. Great job, everyone. Now let's stomp our feet. Are you ready? I know you can't see my feet, but here are my knees. One, two. Are you ready to stomp with me? We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello to all our friends at story time. We stomp and sing hello. <laughs> Great job, everyone. Today we're going to be reading some bath time stories. So I thought we would use, uh, what did I decide? Oh, bathtub that we should use bathtub as our word of the day. So that's what we'll use for our bread and butter rhyme. So we'll say bathtub, bathtub. <laughs> so for bread and butter, we clap our hands and we clap our knees. Clap our hands, clap our knees. Can you do that along with me at home? Clap your hands, clap your knees. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say bathtub as fast as we can. Bathtub, 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 bathtub. <laughs> That's a little tricky. Bathtub, bathtub, bathtub. <laughs> your tongue, your teeth hit your tongue so much when you say that. Bathtub, 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 bathtub. How are you doing at home? Let's try one more time. Ready? Bathtub, 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 bathtub. <laughs> That's a fun one. Let's try another. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say bathtub as slowly as we can. But ah. Uh, Ub. Uh, oh, that has some good sounds in it. So we start off with a B, 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 A. So B A T H, B A T U B, and then T U B, T U B, B A T U B. That's a good one. Let's try another. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say bathtub as loud as we can. Bathtub! Good job. One more. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say bathtub as quiet as we can. Bathtub. Good job. All right. Our first bathtubby story is... How do you take a bath? How do you take a bath is by Kate McKellen and illustrated by Sydney Hansen. How do you take a bath? We're gonna learn about all kinds of ways that others take a bath. Oh, here's a kiddo taking a bath. Cat has a rough pink tongue to lick his smooth brown fur. And polar bear scrubs her face with snow. Brr. Can you imagine if you washed yourself by scrubbing snow on your face? Oh, that'd be so cold. Elephant lifts his trunk and gives himself a shower. And pig wallows in the mud hour after hour. How do you take a bath? Do you lick yourself head to toe? What do you think? Is that how you get yourself clean? Do you lick yourself? <laughs> Do you wash your face with snow? <sighs> Squirt some water from your nose? <clears throat> or stick mud, a sink in the mud without any clothes? No. In fact, a lot of us that play in the mud, we take a bath after, don't we? Can you remember what animal it is that uses its nose to spray and clean itself? An elephant. The elephant uses its long trunk to suck up the water and then pour it over itself. Turtles let small fishies eat algae off his shell and bat spits upon his thumb to clean his ears quite well. Can you imagine spitting on your ear, on your thumb and then cleaning your ear? And the, the turtle here uses a helper. So there are a few different animals that do this they have another animal come in and help it get clean. So for this one, the turtle has fish that come and eat algae. So the fish 
get to have food, they get something to eat, and the turtle gets something too because the turtle gets clean while the fish gets to eat. It's some really good nature teamwork. Honeybees, hairy legs, brush pollen grains away. Brush, brush, brush. And chickens shimmy in the dust each and every day. How do you take a bath? Do fish nibble on you? Does anyone at home have that happen? Do fish get you clean? No. Do fish nibble on you, yum? Do you spit upon your thumb? Do you remember what animal it was that spit on its thumb to clean its ears? A bat. A bat does that. Are your hairy legs you brush? Do you thrash upon the dust? No. And who was it that had hairy legs that rubbed them together? I'll give you a hint. They got pollen off of their legs by rubbing them together. It was a, bzz, 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 a bee. That's how a bee gets clean. Monkey mamas combs his fur, her fingers like a rake. Some of us might actually do this. Sometimes I comb my hair with my fingers. Dogs roll in a puddle, then dry with a shake. Can you give a shake like a dog does? Dry with a shake. Ducks splash in the pond and flap her wings quack quack. And hippos, busy birdies, peck the bugs off his back. So here's another animal teamwork. So these birds eat the bugs off of the hippo's back. So the hippos get clean and the birds get something to eat. It's teamwork. How do you take a bath? Does your mama comb your fur? Do you shake off all your dirt? Do you splash and flap and quack? Do the birdies peck your back? No, I don't think I would like a birdie getting me clean by pecking me. <laughs> well, if you don't take a lick bath, a snow bath, a trunk bath, a mud bath, a fish bath, a spit bath, a brush bath or dust bath, a comb bath or shake bath, a splash bath or peck bath, how do you take a bath? Do you run water in the tub? Do you climb in and scrub-a-dub? Do you hop out of the tub? Do you dry off? Rub-a-dub. Do you make the towel your hat? Do you take a, a bath like that? Now some of us do this. I know I do, but I bet not everyone does. When you're drying off your hair, some people put the, the towel on their head and they keep it up on their head and it looks just like a hat. Yes. That's how we get clean. The end. <laughs> Great listening, everyone. I think we're ready for a little ele uh, oh, bubble bath and elephant rhyme here. Now, this is about having elephants in your bathtub. Does anyone want a, bath a bathtub with elephants in it? I think some of us, or most of us, we wouldn't even be able to have an elephant fit through our front door, let alone get in our bathtub. My bathtub is definitely not big enough for an elephant. <laughs> but this one is going to be a rhyme where we're going to together knock on the door of the bathroom and we're going to go knock, knock. Can you clap together with me? Knock, knock. So we're going to knock on the door and then we're going to splash in the water. Splash, splash. Can you give a splash? Splash, splash. That's right. And then we'll say, come on in and invite another elephant. What do you think? <laughs> knock, knock. Splash, splash. Come on in. That's right. Here we go. We're going to put one elephant in the bathtub. Can you see what color it is? It's a green elephant. One elephant in the bathtub. Going for a swim. You ready to knock with me? Knock, knock, splash, oh, splash, splash. Come on in. We'll invite a, another elephant. Now what colors do we have? green and orange. So we have two, two elephants in the bathtub going for a swim. Knock, knock, splash, splash, come on in. Let's see who we have next. We have a blue elephant, a blue, a green, and an orange. So we have 
three. One, two, three. Three elephants in the bathtub going for a swim. Knock, knock, splash, splash. Come on in. Let's see who we have next. We have a, a red elephant. Now we have a blue, a green, orange, and red. How many elephants is that? One, two, three, four. Can you hold up four fingers at home? There we go. Four elephants in the bathtub going for a swim. Knock, knock, splash, splash. Come on in. That's right. We have one more elephant here. Let's see what color. We have a, what color is this? A yellow elephant. That's right. We have blue, yellow, green, orange, and red. How many elephants is that? One, two, three, four, five. Five elephants in the bathtub. That's right. Can you hold up your five fingers? Five elephants in the bathtub going for a swim. <laughs> knock, knock, splash, splash. Come on in. Great job, everyone. That was wonderful. I think we're ready for our second story. And we have the big red tub. The Big Red Tub by Julie Jarman, illustrated by Andrian Reynolds. The Big Red Tub. Stan and Stella, and Dad, Stan and Stella in the Big Red Tub. I splash, you splash. Splash, splash, splash. Do you think we can clap for splashes? How about this? Splash, splash, splash. Can you do that with me? Splash, splash, splash. I splash, you splash, 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 splash. Bubbles in the bath and water on the floor. Who is that scratching at the door? <gasps> Who is it? Hi there, kids. Can I come for a swim? Of course you can, dog. Just dive in. Dog dives in, front feet first. Suds rise high and bubbles burst. Splash! Dog, Stan, Stella in the big red tub. I splash, you splash, 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 splash. Bubbles in the bath and water on the floor. Who's that roaring at the door? Who do you think it might be? Who might roar? Roar! It's, hi there, kids. Can I have a wash? Leap in, lion. Slish and slosh. Lion leaps in and starts to scrub. Suds rise high with a rub-a-dub-dub. -dub. This looks like a fun bath. <laughs> but the doggy's being a little buried by the bubbles. Lion, Stan, Stella, dog in the tub. I splash, you splash, 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 splash. Bubbles froth, the waters rise, flip, flop, flap. Who's that? Stan cries. Who do you think might be at the door this time? Mm. <gasps> Hello, kids. Can I come to paddle? Of course you can, duck. Dibble and dabble. Duck dibble dabbles with a quacking pace. Bubbles fly all over the place. <laughs> duck. Lion, dog, Stan, and Stella in the tub. I splash, you splash, 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 splash. Water overflows and bubbles mount. Uh-oh, look at how much water is on the floor. Oh, no. Dad's not going to like that. The bath is starting to bob about. Oh, no. Turtle hurdles in. Can I have a dip? Pursued by Penguin. I want to flip. Giraffe races in. Make room for me. I'm being followed. Who could it be? Who else is coming? Oh my goodness, who is this? I can't imagine. Just like the elephant, the hippopotamus is pretty big to put in a bathtub. It's hippopotamus and he slips on the floor. He slides under the tub. 
which goes flush through the door. Oh no. <laughs> and down the stairs so very fast, Kangaroo wants a ride, but the tub shoots past. There's Kangaroo. But Kangaroo's determined, she takes a bound, so the big red tub suddenly leaves the ground. Oh my goodness, it's flying away. It flies twice around the world over mountains and plains. Till a flock of flamingos tow it home again. Bubbles on the floor. Oh, bubbles in the tub, water on the floor. Who is this coming to the door? Hmm, who do you think is missing from the room? It's mom. <laughs> Rub-a-dub giggle, rub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Let's tell mom about that big red tub. <laughs> the end. Do you think mom will like that story? It went a little magical at the end, didn't it? The end. Oh, and look. There's some little details in the room. Can you see animals around the room? There's some flamingos around the outside of the mirror. There are some slippers that are penguins and slippers that are doggies. What other animals did we mention? How about a lion? A lion cup for the toothbrushes? What animals do you see? Is this a kangaroo? on the towels and a giraffe on the shampoo. Yeah, all kinds of little secrets. The end. Great listening, everyone. I think it's time for us to stand up and sing head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Are you ready to dance with me? Here we go. Can you find your head at home? Nice job. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, boop, boop. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Great job, everyone. Can we do it a little faster? Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, boop, boop. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. <laughs> Great job, everyone. Thank you all for coming today. And head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, boop. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. <laughs> Thank you all for coming today, and I hope you have the most wonderful day filled with music and books. See you all soon. Bye-bye.